So with this in mind, let's try another one. But just keep in mind the general strategy. And I'll write that out for us right now. So before we do this, let me just make some room over here and write down the strategy. So I wrote out all of the strategy here. And let's just go through it. And this is pretty much what we did last time. So the first step is to define your variables. What does y and x actually represent? You want to get a feeling for that. You want to know their units as well. You know, if we're talking about money in this one, it's in dollars. It's not in yen. It's not in euros. And we're talking about time here, x hours. So in this case, time is in hours rather than minutes, seconds, or years. So be very careful with your units. Now, after defining your variables, you want to go and find that key information. So basically look for the numbers. So you got a 10 there, five hour job is $35 and so on. You look for that key numerical information and it's usually going to be a point on the line, an intercept of the line, or you might even find the slope of the line. And then from that key information, you want to find the slope and the y-intercept. And once you have that, you can plug those into our slope intercept form, this y equals mx plus b. Now, there are other ways to approach this, but this way will work for all of these problems. You might need some more formulas. You might need to know the slope formula, which we just used. And sometimes it might even be helpful to use point slope form. If you have a point and the slope, you can just plug them in and not even bother finding your y-intercept. So those are all different options, but this strategy will work for solving all of these problems. So let's start with step one. We gotta define our variables, but until we get there, let's just read through it really quick. And again, I'm probably going to mispronounce these names. So let's say Anumeha is mowing lawns for a summer job. For every mowing job, she charges an initial fee of $10. So that's our y-intercept plus a constant fee, that's our slope, for each hour of work. Her fee for a five-hour job, for instance, is $35. So that's going to be a point on our line. We can use that information. And let Y represent Anumeha's fee in dollars and for a single job that took X hours for her to complete. So Y represents the fee and X represents time. So let's write that down. And let's say right here, so Y is the fee. And I'm going to mark the units in parentheses. X is the time. And again, the units of hours will just go in parentheses just to remind myself. Now, we have our variables defined. We know what Y and X represent. So the next step is to find the key information. So we're looking at the numbers here. So this second sentence, for every mowing job, she charges an initial fee of $10. So that means no matter how many hours are worked, she's immediately charging $10. So in other words, when X is zero, when no time has passed, the fee Y is $10. And that's our Y intercept. So I'm gonna write that down. So when X is zero hours, we have Y is $10. That's our fee. And then we'll get a constant fee for each hour of work. So that's our slope. Since the fee is constant, our rate is constant but they don't actually give us a number for that. So we go to the next sentence. Her fee for a five hour job is $35. So we can write down that data point as well. When X is five hours, Y would be $35. So now let's use this information. We need to find the slope and the Y intercept. Now we're given the Y intercept, so we don't need to find that, but we do need to find the slope. And then once we find that, since we already have the y-intercept, once we find the slope, we'll just plug them into this y equals mx plus b. So to find the slope, we're gonna again use our slope formula. We'll say, so let me scroll back. We'll say that m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And let's call this x1, y1, and this can be x2, y2. So plugging these in, we get $35 minus $10. So that's Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2, which is 5, minus X1, which is 0. So the top simplifies to 25, and the denominator is 5. 25 divided by 5 is simply 5. 
So what we found, because we have dollars up top and hours below, is that our constant fee is $5 an hour. So we found our slope. We have our y-intercept that's right here. B is just equal to 10 since that's when x is 0. This is where it will cross that y-axis. And we know M is this $5 per hour. And your slope should be a rate. It should be some unit per some other unit. So we can now combine these. Y equals M, which is 5 times X, plus B, which is 10. So this is what we think is the equation. Let's just go test it with the information we know. So this first data point, the initial fee of $10. So if she works 0 hours, this goes away, and you just get Y equals 10. So that makes sense. And then for the second piece of information, if X is 5, so you plug that in right there, you get 25 plus 10, which is 35. So we do get back that fee of $35. So with this in mind, let's move on to another one.